all Progressives Congress youths in the northeast uh, part of the country have said that the recent opera by former SGF Babachir Lawal and that of the former speaker Yakubo Dogara against the choice of Shatima as Tinubu's running mate holds no grounds. The youths describe the opera as mere political interest that will be addressed by the party on negotiation table. Our correspondent Ibrahim Abubakar has the report as presented from our studios. The choice of Senator Kashim Shatima by Ashwa Jubala Ahmed Tinubu as running mate has continued to generate reactions from Nigerians. The impediment against this ticket is because of its Muslim-Muslim status, according to politicians and Nigerians who are rejected it. The party's youth in the northeast have, however, endorsed Shatima, whom they describe as Uwadi's son. An APC youth leader, Jason Kware said the choice of Shatima is synonymous to victory for the party come 2023. We, on behalf of the youth of the Northeast, we want to pledge our unalloyed loyalty to that ticket and to assure them that we are going to give them 100% support going into the 2023 election. We have also resolved as a party to ensure that we activate local government polling units, ward polling, ward polling units in all the wards that we have in, in the North we deliver a massive victory for the party and safeguard our votes going into the 2023 general election. Another youth, Jamil Yusuf, believes that the APC is after the development of Nigeria and not interested in politics of religion. It's so natural that some people will be aggrieved in uh, one thing or the other. But I think a lot of us have joined APC as uh, politicians, not uh, as a uh, member, as a, as a religious uh, body. We have uh, APC. APC is a great party, yes, uh, the people that uh, are grieved in one or two things that happen in APC uh, is natural. We are, a, we are a family, we'll come out, we'll discuss and you know, sometimes some people will get angry and uh, I know by the special grace of God uh, in the nearer future we'll come back to the table, discuss issues and forget about uh, our differences. We are first of all Nigerians before becoming a Christian or becoming a, a Muslim. Some of the leaders that have been complaining uh, uh, in one thing or the other that is happening is some of them uh, have went to the peak of their career not because they are Christians but because they were Nigerians. We have a former SGF that he was speak as a secretary to the government of the federation not because he is a Christian but is because he is first of all a Nigerian. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.